I'm Officer Meyer with the California Highway Patrol. Hector Alexis Seguro, age 17, died today from injuries sustained in an automobile accident. He was a student at Half Moon Bay High School. Hector was planning to attain a criminal justice degree. Today, David Corona, age 17, died from injuries sustained in an automobile accident. David is remembered by his friends as honest, reliable, and intelligent. Case Blackburn Dufresne, age 16, died today from injuries sustained in an automobile accident. His future plans included attendance at a four-year college and continuing to play basketball. Morgan Patricia Butcher, age 14, died today from injuries sustained in an automobile accident. She was a student at Half Moon Bay High School. Morgan was outgoing and active in her school and a member of FFA. Gabrielle Marquise, age 16, died today from injuries sustained in an automobile accident. She was a student at Half Moon Bay High School. Gabby was friendly to all and enjoyed drama. Kehlani will be remembered by her sister and friends as smiling, caring, and nurturing. How you guys doing? My name's Officer Escoto. I'm with the California Highway Patrol. Clancy Drew McKinley, Craig, age 18, died today from his injuries sustained in an audible accident. He was a student at Half Moon Bay High School. Clancy was active in several school clubs, including being president of the GSA and member of the ski club. Today, Anthony Demartini, at the age of 15, he died from injuries sustained in an automobile accident. He was a loving big brother, nephew, cousin, son, and loyal friend. Isabel Catherine Lehane, age 17, died today from injuries sustained in an automobile accident. Justin William Winslow, age 17, died today from injuries sustained in an automobile accident. Francisco Jesus Valencia, age 17, died today from injuries sustained in an automobile accident. Omar Khalil Drubi, age 16, died today from injuries sustained in an automobile accident. He was a student at Half Moon Bay High School. David Amir Pantera, age 15, died today from injuries sustained in an automobile accident. I just heard a loud crash and it sounded like an accident. What's the location of the emergency? It's at Half Moon Bay High School. I think it's over by the football field. How many people are hurt? You know, I don't know. I can't see the accident. Okay, help us on the way. Please call us back if you have any further information. Okay, thanks. You had something to drink today. Alright, so I basically have one I can get you in lower right now. So we're going to get one open. So we're going to get some Okay, so we have to get one open. So we're going to get one open. So we're How much you had a drink tonight? One. Just one beer? Just one. Okay, I'm going to put you through a couple tests. Yeah. You see the tip of this pin? Yeah. I need you to follow with your eyes and your eyes only without moving your head. Yeah. Tilt your head back. Tilt your head back. Close your eyes. Begin. Okay. Deep breath. Deep breath. Now go ahead and blow through the machine. Okay. okay, you've had too much to drink today. Okay, you're over the legal limit. And so you're going to have to turn around, put your hands behind your back. You're going to be under arrest for DUI right now, okay? Alright, there's some facial trauma, possible broken neck, lacerations to the right arm, the left arm.
someone ran through a red light oh my God. and ran into his vehicle. And unfortunately, his injuries, he didn't survive. Oh my God. And um, I know it's hard news. Um, he didn't do anything wrong. He just happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. And someone who was driving under the influence came and ran through a red light. And unfortunately, Hector didn't survive. Fortunately, he received some massive injuries and he didn't survive the collision. A person was driving under the influence, ran through a red light, and unfortunately just had massive injuries and didn't survive. Justin was sitting in the uh, right front seat and was killed when he struck the windshield. Lo siento mucho. No, yo pienso que es mentira. No, no ah, puede ser. David tenía su identificación en su bolsa. Casey. Casey, yes. Yeah, yeah. He didn't survive. I am, uh, I'm so sorry. This is the, uh, the hardest part of my uh, job. Hi. Hey, what's your name? Dean. Dean. Dean, do you know where you are right now? Do you remember what happened? You were involved in a bad car accident. Anything hurting you right now? Hey, what's hurting you? Alright, leg? Okay. Alright, let's start the IV, okay? Going right in. Todd, Todd, can you uh, get there a little faster? He's starting to go out. This is Dean, 16 years old. He was a restrained driver, remote control. Here's what we got for rhythm. Let's get connected. Let's start chest compressions. How long we've been going? This is 30 minutes. I think it's time to call it. I think you're right. Time of death, 11:46. Are you Dean's parents? I'm Dr. Eberhard. Dean was involved in a terrible car accident this morning. He had severe trauma to his chest, and when he arrived shortly after, he his heart stopped. I'm so sorry, but Dean is dead. Pressure's down, it's like nothing almost. And his, his pulse, wait, we're, wait, we're losing him. He's got a massive bleed, he's terminated. Time of death, 11.54. Hi, are you Malcolm's parents? Malcolm was involved in a really bad car accident this morning and had significant head injury. His heart stopped and we performed CPR, but we were unable to revive him. I'm so sorry, he's dead.
of me 